Dr. Vels here. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to check the biasing on the finals on the FT991A before they blow. First of all, remove the eight screws from the top half of the case and then remove the carry strap by unscrewing the two retaining screws. Then remove 11 screws as shown from the metal plate. As you remove the metal plate, be very careful not to put any strain on the two speaker wires. For the next stage, I'm going to rotate the radio. Locate J4007 and J4006 terminals and unscrew the screws to remove the metal jumper. Then connect meter probes to those two terminals and set the meter to measure current in amps. Unplug the microphone from the front of the radio, connect the HF and 6 meter antenna socket to a 50 ohm dummy load Tune the radio to 14 MHz USB, set the mic gain to zero and switch MOX on. This will put the transceiver in transmit mode without the microphone. Then locate VR4002 and VR4001. Remove the left hand jumper and adjust VR4001 until the current reads 1 amp. Refit the jumper and remove the right hand jumper and adjust VR4002 until the current reads 1 amp. Then refit the jumper and go back to J4007 and J4006 and remove the meter probes and screw the metal link back on. Reassemble the radio by reversing the previous steps. Mike 5, Alpha Mike Lima. Mike 5, for you, Alpha Mike Lima? Yeah, Roger, 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 you are 5 and 9, name is John, Roger. Roger, John, Mike 5, Alpha Mike Lima, you're 5 and 9, name is Boyan. 73, John, I'll go back. Yeah, 3 Boyan, nice to speak to you again. 73, take care. We'll just reassemble the radio and um, just had a quick contact into Bulgaria using 10 watts. Uh, into my uh, indoor dipole and uh, the radio is still working. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope you find that interesting and useful and see you in the next video.